Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Z. Uh, I'm from Texas A&M University. Um, today, I would like to present our work titled uh, "The Worst Invariant Time Series Forecasting in Smart Cities." At first, uh, I would like to give a brief introduction of our work. Uh, time series data is playing an important role in the development of smart cities. Um, and a lot of time series forecasting models uh, have been developed, uh, such as the vector autoregressive model, uh, ARIMA, uh, recurrent neural network, LSTM, and transformer. However, when we apply these models on the uh, for time series forecasting in smart cities, we found that uh, this method often struggle when confronted with geographical domain shift where the uh, target urban environments differ significantly from the source urban environments. Um, formally, the problem can be uh, formulated as how can we train a robust time series for a casting model using observational data from city A and then apply it to forecast the data for a city B and a C. To address this challenge, uh, we proposed a methodology named the invariant LSTM for location wire time series forecasting. Uh, to be more specific, given a set of location wire multivariate time series uh, collected from N locations. Here we denote it as S, where L is uh, information of uh, geographical coordinates and X is a multivariate time series collected at that location. Uh, our objective is to minimize the following equation. The first part is an empirical risk, man uh, risk minimization, such as uh, uh, the mean square error uh, between the predicted value and the ground truth. Uh, and the penalty term is to compute the uh, gradient of the output with, re with respect to invariant weight. Our motivation is to encourage the model to generate an invariant representation across diverse geographical environments. The architecture is detailed in this figure. In the training process, we firstly need to separate the whole training set into n subsets based on the number of locations. Uh, for these n locations, we uh, have a shared LS LSTM network. And for each environment, we will get a representation age to record the historical temporal information. Uh, different from the standard LSTM, the output is same, but we add invariant weights for each environment, which are all B1. This is convenient to compute the gradient for each environment and the guided H to be invariant across diverse environments. To evaluate the effectiveness of our proposed method, we first performed our method on the simulated data. We generated the simulated data by using a structural equation model where X is generated by itself uh, due to the temporal dependency and Y is generated by X and itself. Z is generated by uh, Y and uh, itself, but only appears when sigma equals one. Uh, the illustration is shown on this figure. The left is from the temporal aspect and the right is from a spatial aspe aspect. Mm, from this equation, a structural equation, the, uh, the relationship between X and Y is invariant across all of the environments sigma, but the relationship between Y and Z is spurious for the environments when uh, sigma is not one. We also use the real world air quality data, data which uh, consists of measurements collected in Beijing, Shenzhen, and Guangzhou. Uh, this data set covers the 
time from May 2014 to April 2015, uh, which is in form of a uh, multivariate time series uh, data with six variables. Next, uh, we will pre present some uh, theoretical insights about why the geographical domain shift will affect the model parameters. Uh, given the uh, the equation, uh, given the equation one of for the equation model uh, y equals alpha one x, uh, the optimal solution for alpha one is one, and uh, for the model y equals alpha alpha two z, the optimal solution is related to the value of sigma. If we use both x and z to predict the y, the optimal solution uh, of alpha one and alpha two also related to sigma. So this result highlights the impact of varying urban environments, sigma square on the coefficients when predicting y. Uh, we have detailed this part in our original paper. If you are interested in it, you can see the details. Uh, then we, we will discuss some empirical results from our experiments. We firstly uh, performed our methods on simulated data. Uh, we created three settings. For the first setting, uh, there are two training environments. The data is generated from mm, when sigma is 0 0.1 and sigma is 1. We use the same test environment in these three settings, which is uh, convenient for compression uh, of our model. For the second training environments, we add the data collected when sigma is 0 0.01. And for the third setting, we add some data samples from the test environments. We use the mean square error and mean absolute error as the evaluation metrics and the from this result, we can see all models can perform well in the third setting when compared with, with the first two settings. This is because the training distribution is closer to the target distribution. Uh, furthermore, our proposed uh, invariant time series model performs better than the standard LSTM model in three settings. Uh, which is benefited from the uh, incorporation of invariant risk minimization. Uh, switch to the real world application. We used the, the training data from Beijing to feed the uh, invariant uh, time series model. When compared with standard uh, time series model, there is still there is a, there is an improvement, uh, which means that the, even in the same city, there exists the geographical uh, domain shift. When we use the uh, training data from uh, Shenzhen SD uh, and the target environments uh, is Beijing, this big geographic domain shift caused the, uh, 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 we, we can the time series for recasting model. But the invariant time series model can uh, still achieve a uh, great accuracy. Uh, if we replace one of the uh, SZ by another city, Guangzhou GZ, the performance is better, uh, which can be contributed to the distribution of GZ is close to um, BG than SZ. Uh, besides, we also um, integrate the invariant invariant risk, risk minimization mechanism into transformer model, uh, which also brings another improvement. To conclude our work, uh, our experiments reveal the appearance of the geographic domain shift within the location uh, aware time series data, even within a single city. Uh, 
uh, we proposed a novel time series forecasting method, which offers promising results to address geographic domain shift. Uh, future work will include use overnight for climate modeling to help forecast the future uh, climate conditions and uh, improve traffic pattern predictions in urban planning. Thank you, that's it.